and welcome back to Such Pretty. I just wanted to do a vlog today because a lot of things have been going on with me and I was gone for a month and I don't know if you guys knew that but I had pre-recorded videos. So um, I've been back for the last almost month, um, not quite yet, but back for the almost last month uh, and a lot of big things have been happening for me. Um, as you can see, I've completely changed my hair. I have cut it and dyed it different colors and I will let you know in the description box what those colors are, but you can see I've got a lot of jewel tones, but I did stay true to the green family. Um, green has my heart, so I'll probably always go back to that. But um, I haven't been very active on the YouTube channel because I've been gone and then some really big things happened for me. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably see that I was featured in a slew of news articles over the past two weeks. Um, the Daily Mail, uh, Huffington Post Canada, uh, UK and United States, Inside Edition, uh, Hello Giggles, just a bunch of different news outlets uh, did. Most of them were really, really positive pieces on why I respond to trolls on the internet um, and why I respond to troll comments sometimes on my Instagram and like what my whole um, body positive outlook is. So that has brought a lot of really great attention. It has also brought a lot of unwanted attention. It's been really difficult for me to um, adjust to the amount of hateful stuff that comes in. Um, and the amount of like amazing stuff that comes in. I have hundreds of direct messages waiting in my, my inbox um, that I just don't even know how to start responding to. It's been a really kind of tumultuous time. Um, it's been difficult to adjust to and uh, so I just thought I would kind of talk about that. Um, the Daily Mail article is really really negative. It talked about all of the bullying and body shaming and stuff that I received on my Instagram and then the, a lot of other pieces were super super positive and it's brought, brought a lot of really 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 great people my way and it's I've seen a lot of really great growth. Um, and with that came the bad. I've now been made into a meme. If you see it, don't repost it. Don't show me. I don't care. There's nothing I can do about it anymore. If you are interested in what it is, it is a picture of me um, and then a picture of a Tumblr that a Tumblr description of um, that is just ridiculous. It's it's basically making fun of the, of um, the LGBTQA community and how um, people who are anti-feminism see uh, feminists and people in the LGBTQA plus community. So um, it's a really crappy meme. No, no real human being is like that. And the fact that all of these anti-feminists think that any of us are like that is kind of ignorant and asinine. And I really can't believe that anybody would read the text and think that it's a real person. But um, I had a lot of negative attention from that. I have people in my inbox like totally not not be not believing me at all that I'm not the person who wrote that who has that tumblr asking why then why I had to go by two different names why I claim two different ages it's just it's ridiculous so um if you see it there's nothing that I can do I've gotten about 20 25 of them taken off of Instagram but it's just not worth my my time anymore honestly people are reposting it to tell other people that it is not me that helps not at all like that all that does is just expose it to more people who are going to repost it um, like incorrectly so like I know that people who are reposting it and saying hey this is not the person you think that you're helping but you're I'm and I know that you're trying to help but all it does is bring more horrific or undesirable people to my page so um, if you see it I already know thank you um, and there's nothing that I am going to do about it. I've started tagging my body pictures now so hopefully um, if anybody tries to take my photos in that in that respect or tries to take my photos to catfish other people which has also happened um then my tag will be on it and they'll see they'll search darling i know and find me so hopefully um that happens um another an, another thing that's been really positive is some people have reached out to me for some um collaborations some clothing companies some lingerie companies um so i'm really excited to try some new clothes and stuff which brings me to my, ne my next point the um getting online dress review that i did a few videos ago um for the beautiful maxi dress that i wore with the gabby fresh swimsuit has gotten more views than any of my other youtube videos um probably combined actually so um it seems that what people want from me is more plus size fashion. Um, I've noticed that Sasha's Sasha's makeup videos get a lot more reviews than mine, um, which doesn't bother me. I am not at all on the level that she is. We kind of do, do we both do colorful makeup, but we're both doing different things. Our strengths are in different places. And um, 
she is just better at tutorials than I am. But um, with all of these opportunities that have come in the past couple of weeks, I thought that I could do more fashion posts on this channel. And I talked to Sasha and she agrees that bringing fashion into the channel is a good idea and um, can help growth and exposure and um, just kind of help more people get the body positive message out there. So if you are plus size and you are interested in this, please let me know. Um, I'm going to do it anyway, <laughs> but um, I would really like to know if we have some plus size followers who are um, psyched about me doing uh, some clothing reviews. So um, I just want to let you know for the next month or so I have some tutorials planned so I'm not going to phase makeup completely out. I don't think that I can buy enough new clothes or I don't get enough new clothes. I don't have enough partnerships with companies to do just fashion. So you'll still see makeup from me. I still love makeup. It's still um, absolutely a passion for me but um, fashion has kind of really taken off for me in the past few weeks. Um, I've seen a lot of growth with that and I think it's something that I kind of want to run with. So I'm kind of going in two different directions um, with what I'm doing on the channel here. Uh, I have two tutorials planned and then I have two um, clothing hauls at least planned. I have um, some lingerie that I will be doing some reviews on as well. Um, and then I'll be doing a chubby cartwheels video probably this week sometime. I'm wearing chubby cartwheels right now. So I just want to let you guys know where I'm at and what to expect from me and what I've been doing. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. If you have any interest in what the articles are, you can just Google my stage name was just Kaylee Darling. Um, and uh, there are a bunch of articles, really, really great pieces um, about body positivity and responding to hateful comments. Um, and if you're interested in that, I could do a video in that as well. Um, I talk about bullying and um, fat acceptance and fat shaming and body shaming a lot on my Instagram, but I haven't really brought that over here. Um, if there's anybody who has any interest in, um, you know, body positivity videos, maybe just some vlogs where I talk about, you know, body shaming or whatever, just let me know. And um, I would be happy to put something together for you guys. Um, I know that I get a lot of, uh, I, I get, a, I have a lot of different types of people I, it, who follow on the different types of platforms. So on Tumblr, I get a lot of asks of that for advice and stuff, and I'm happy to do that on Tumblr. Um, if that's more something that you guys want to see me bring over here, where you guys ask me questions about like body positivity and confidence and stuff, and I try to answer in videos, I'd be happy to do that for you guys. So. Um, tell me what you guys want as far as body positivity and fashion goes because this is all new for me. Um, like I said, I still don't, I don't plan to phase makeup out entirely, but um, it seems just by views alone that you guys are more interested in seeing um, fashion from me. So let me know what you want to see. Um, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I, until next time, I'll see ya.